Owen Field, Norman, Oklahoma, and here come the Buckeyes. They were 9-3 in 1982, won the Holiday Bowl. 1983, their opening game, they defeated Oregon 31-6. They're coached by Earl Bruce. The Buckeyes out of Columbus, Ohio. And now, the Oklahoma Sooners. 8 and 4 1982 their opening game they beat Stanford 27 to 14 their head coach is Barry Switzer the winningest coach active coach in the country state will receive it Tim Lasher a walk on sophomore from Plano Texas kicking to Keith Byers and Kelvin Lindsay there's young Lasher he walked on the spring got himself a job and he's got the wind behind him. He should carry it very deep, and he does. It is way back and beyond the end zone. As a matter of fact, it's three points. It is well over 120 degrees. Now, I talked to the trainers of both clubs. They have given these players a tablet called Electrolyte. What that is, basically, is just a combination of potassium and salt to alleviate or prevent muscle cramps. Essentially, chemically broken down, it is just sweat. So the replenishing the fluids, endurance, conditioning will be a factor. Ohio State goes to the snap. First down at the 20 with Mike Tomzak, the quarterback, turns and hands the ball to Keith Byers. He's 6 to 230, a sophomore from Dayton. He slants it over the left side and picks up close to four. There's a look at young Mike Tomzak, who comes from Calumet City. He's 6'1, 190. Vaughn Broadnax is the big fullback, 6'2, 250. Keith Byers at 6'2, 230, as we told you. And looking at the wide people, they're good people, too. Cedric Anderson is a flyer, and so is Thad Jimison at 6'2 and 190. Call it second down and six. As Byers picked up the better part of four yards on his first carry, and comes back pulling on second down. Goes to the short man, and the pass is completed to John Frank, the tight end, out close to a first down. There's Big John. And he is a big target at 6'3", 220. William Roberts at tackle, 270. Kirk Loudermilk at guard, 250. Joe Dooley is the center at 270. Scott Zielinski is the right guard at 260. Mike Perowitz at 280 pounds. He is just uh, half the length of the ball, short of the first down. Byers, the tailback, gets the first down, which consists of Goodloe, Brian, Casillas, Slater, Murphy, Benson, and Ship. And the defensive secondary lines up this way. Paul, Drain, Casey, and Stanberry on the running game against most teams. Again, they go to the running attack with the Byers carrying the ball. Very massive. Second down and eight now. Gives the ball off as the slant goes again with Byers, the tailback, and he's up to about the 39-yard line. Some 35 pounds lighter. Lindsay has the ball, finds some daylight over the left side, and gets the first down. Looking for his second straight win at Alabama as Tom Zachman first down, drops the throw, and goes with it. The pass is completed to number 20, Kelvin Lindsay, the tailback, 250-pound fullback. And here comes Tom Zach on a bootleg, got a block to turn the corner, and he's got an Ohio State first down. Ball just inside the 36, first down for the Buckeyes. They're strong to the right side. Tomzak stands, throws a sideline pattern, and the pass is incomplete. Lindsay is back in at tailback. Tomzak will throw the ball. The pass is completed inside the 25. Three seasons there. Tomzak hands the ball, and it goes over the left side with Keith Byers. So the tailback's now being rotated by Earl Bruce. Lindsay is back in, has the ball on a power sweep to the right side. This year, those two tailbacks are going to travel a lot today, having to carry the plays in. Comes back on another drop, goes the short way to Frank, the tight end. And Frank puts his head down and scores. The Buckeyes get on the board. A 16 yard pass play, Tom Zach to John Frank. Lou Groza, the great one, has been working some with him. He's straight as an arrow with that one. And so at 8.44 to go in the first quarter of play, the Ohio State Buckeyes go 80 yards and lead Oklahoma 7 0. Hangs it up into the wind. The wind's going to knock it down at the goal line, and it's Buster Rhymes. Breaks it out. He has great speed. And one man, one man shoved him out of bounds with Danny Bradley pulling the trigger on the wishbone. And the first man, Spencer Tillman, gets it to tight end. It is second down and seven, and the pitch goes back to Marcus Dupree. 
And Dupree, 6'3", 230 pounds, pounds it up across the 45. Danny Bradley, the quarterback, 5'10", 185, and quick as a hiccup. Spencer Tillman is the fullback at 205 pounds, very quick. Marcus Dupree, I'm sure by now you know all about him. And Steve Sewell, the wingback, 6'4", 200 pounds, with Buster Rhymes outside. It's a first down for the Sooners. Out on the 47, and Bradley turns and hands it off quickly. Johnny Fontenet playing with a sore shoulder, 6 feet, 230, tight end. Brett Burks, a 270-pound tackle. Paul Parker, 280-pound guard. Chuck Thomas, a 270-pound center. Eric Pope, a 265-pound guard. And David Dillingham, a 265-pound tackle. Snelms, Morrill down. Linebackers are Lowry, Bacchus, Tatum, and Curtis. Secondary, Lane Gale, uh, Sean Gale, the Doug Hill, and Kelvin Bell. Uh, Eric Pope went straight to the locker room. Looked like a dislocated shoulder. Some kind of an injury to the shoulder. Tim Randolph, who had scheduled to play at tight end, had to hurry up and put on a guard shirt so that he could come in and play now from their own 48. And Bradley's going to put it up for the first time today. Gets some pressure. Turns it around the other way. He's got nobody to throw it to. He's got to do it all by himself, and he can't do it. Ohio State's pursuit was pretty good. Penn State Flippy. these days, too. On the offense. Third down, replay the down. The side judges, Ed Clark, Dan Ups from the back judge. On third down, Oklahoma goes on the ground with it. And Ohio State's 38 and a half yards per kick. Got a little pressure on him. Gets it out all right. And then helps him some. A high hanging kick and a fair catch is called by Garcia Lane. Very pleased with the way things are going. Now here's, I think, a test for the Oklahoma defense. Ohio State goes to the attack with 41 Keith Myers carrying. And they've got Thad Jemison way wide to the bottom of the picture as Tomzak puts it in the air over the middle and he hits John Frank with another pass and another big gain for the big tight end as he goes to the Oklahoma 41. The way it's going, he may have a big day. They hand it off inside and it goes to the big old tailback, 230 pound Keith Byers. Second down and about four. Broadnax, the 250-pound fullback with it. Got Jim Carson now in, number 77, a 270-pounder at right tackle. He was a starter a year ago. Out of the split-back formation, they give it a Broadnax. Lindsay is back in at tailback now. And Tomzak sets up the throw. Gets his pass away, and he threw it away. Okay. Third down. Tomzak wants to go deep with it, and he does into the end zone, and it is incomplete. The pass intended for Cedric Anderson. And into the ball game is Rich Spangler. Now the wind is quite brisk into his face, but there's a very large segment of spectator stands there. The ball's not going to get there. It looked like it was tipped by somebody as it cleared the line of scrimmage. So the 39-yard field goal attempt is way short of its mark. And uh, Oklahoma now takes some heart in the fact their defense stopped Ohio State. It's Tillman and Dupree lined up in the I formation. Losing his footing. Dupree loses the football. They're going to pull him down. Up. Yeah. Now they're in back in the wishbone. Ball is given to Tillman. Players won't really realize how important it was until after it's over. Outside it goes to Dupree. He gets uh, coattailed as he gets up to about the 38. And Procedure. Oh, absolutely. He's going to throw. Slips and falls down, but caught himself. Now he gets a little help and comes back up field to the 40, to the 43, 4, 5. First down. 65 yards against Stanford last week. This is Dupree. Fumbles the football. He was hit just as the ball arrived. Mistakes break down. Second down and about 10 from the 45. Bradley back there wants to throw. Goes over the middle with it. Has a man, but he threw the ball too high, and Steve Sewell. Third down and 10. There's your pass, and it was tipped. Here's the punt by Ataya. A little better kick this time, a little deeper. And it runs Garcia Lane back inside the 20, and his return will bring him back just beyond the 20. As Keith fires the tailback and a big hole for the big back and a first down as you we played a quarter at Norman, Oklahoma, and Ohio State leads the Sooners seven to nothing.
they reflect exactly what we've seen so far in the first quarter. Complete dominance by Ohio State. Look at Oklahoma, not a zero yardage pass. And that ball off to Lindsay, the tailback. That team too, Jimmy. I tell you, Hayden was optimistic. Looks like he's got all of his pieces in place. Comzak trying to roll it out. Comzak back to throw, has lots of time, gets his pass off, wide open. Keith Byers, the tailback, shakes one, shakes two, all the way down to the six, fumbles the football, it's picked up. They call him down, just short of the five. So let's go from there. First down, goal to go, Ohio State. Lindsay is in at tailback, We've got Frank in motion, give it to Lindsay. Lindsay goes to the four. Rodnax and Byers. Rodnax, the fullback. Zach on an option. Keeps it. He tried to stick it over the goal line with a one free hand and they won't give it to him. But I look for him to run right over Roberts the left tackle. That's Byers. He did not get there. Oklahoma holds him. They did exactly that Frank. They stripped the backs and they tried to slant him. But again 31 yards. Bradley the quarterback just keeps it and runs it out to the four. Bobby's team giving up a lot of points. Well, fumble, and Ohio State's got it. Roland Tatum. Cedric Anderson going in motion. Tomzak back to throw. Goes to the short man. That is John Frank, the tight end. Touchdown. Big John, five for 78 and two touchdowns. Spangler's extra point is good. So you've got 10 minutes and 57 seconds to play in the first half of the ball game. And Ohio State leads Oklahoma now by a score of 14 to nothing. Effectively, Oklahoma ran out to a 20 to nothing lead in 1977. Ohio State came back with 28 points as the ball goes beyond the end zone. He's become a great one. First down for Oklahoma and whistle stop. Dead ball. I guess somebody comes along with seven or eight million bucks. One has to look at it. Who knows? There goes Marcus with the ball. And he isn't going anywhere. Spencer Nelms, the middle guard, has held his territory pretty well, too, so far. Bradley back, wants to throw, goes down the sidelines. He has a man wide open. That's Buster Rhymes, and Rhymes takes it down to the Ohio State 46. Second and a half sooner, he's in the end zone. That's good call, Keith. That's right. There you go. Dupree busted over the left side. Goes nine yards. Second down, one. Dupree now six carries, 31 yards. He's tough to handle all day. That's Spencer Tillman. He's gone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. with Dupree but he blew that one from 37 yards the extra point is up and it is good David Culver with 9 14 to play in the first half makes it a 14 to 7 ball game and the deep people are Keith Byers and Kelvin Lindsay the Ohio State tailbacks one thing Earl Bruce does he works his tailback it's a high short kick bobbled around and looks like John Franks comes up and makes the catch John Frank Holds it down. Now Ohio State comes back. And their big gun so far has been obviously Tom Zach, the quarterback, but John Frank, the tight end. They hand the ball off inside to the fullback, Vaughn Broadmax. Second down and actually about four and a half. That's the tailback, Lindsey. Jemison and Anderson are the wide people for Ohio State. Tom Zach gives it again to Broadmax, and this time the Sooners were right there. It's second down, 11, just short of the 40. Man for man. Passing time. Passes away, pass intercepted. Tomzak overthrew it, and he threw it right into the hands of Jim Rockford. And Oklahoma now in good field position. Oklahoma first down, Ohio State 39. Give that ball away to Earl Johnson. Ball Lewis, wide man, top of the field. And they hand it off inside to Tillman. 
And Spencer Tobin gets the first down for Oklahoma. First down just short of the Buckeye 21. Today. Bradley turns after the penalty, gives it to Earl Johnson. Johnson is not going to get a whole lot out of it. Second down, 11 from the 22 for Oklahoma. Bradley back to throw. He's got a man, but he's too late finding him. Now look out. He's got some open field. Gets it off into the end zone. It is incomplete. So it's third down and 11 now with Derek Shepard in at uh, wingback. And the pass is incomplete. Out of bounds. For a 39-yard field goal try, Culver tried two. His longest was 30 yards last week. He gets it up. He's got a hurry. And the wind blew it out of there. He did not have a whole lot of leg on it. He could not hook it back into the uprights. And so at 5.13 to go in the first half, Ohio State leads by seven. Couldn't get anything out of it. Buckeyes take over the ball. First down at their own 22. And George Perlis making his collegiate debut this season. And here comes Ohio State attacking the middle again, this time with Roman Bates. And he has it. And he's close to the first down. Zach sets up with all the time in the world and goes way downfield with it and there's a penalty flag thrown and contact with the defensive man you be the judge right there the left arm hits him right across the shoulder case goes down the offensive interference you're right I didn't think he'd hit him but he did loss of down to Keith Boy. on second and 25 and he's up across the 20 Got to come up with a big play or kick it. Tomzak again has all day and throws it to Lindsay way short of the first down. Buster Rhymes returned one 66 yards last week for a touchdown. That's low. Gives him some room from the 26. And they get him at the 36. So Buster has a 10-yard return. Earl Johnson, the tailback, with Dupree holding a sore leg. Bradley's going to put it up on first down. And he overthrows and misses Buster Ryan. Second down and 10. And that ball off. And the offensive line surge pretty good. For... Well, we do know he is quick. And Bradley back to throw. Pass away to the sidelines to Ryan. Ryan has got it. Not a bounds for a first down. First down for the Sooners. And Bradley back. Got two Buckeyes after him, but he's so quick, he's hard to hem in. He's going to get something out of the play. He's trying to get to the sidelines, and he does. Tough ones over the years. Here's Bradley back to throw on second and short. Goes down the middle. He has a man, and he missed him. Strike. Sewell has dropped two, but both of them he was fully extended. They give it a spit to Tillman, and Tillman cannot break it loose. It's Earl Johnson sets up for an option pass, throws for the corner, and he overthrows his man, Derek Shepard. Oklahoma backs him very deep. Tomzak runs into Kelvin Lindsey, and then uh, Oklahoma defending. And you've only got five seconds. That'll do it. So they sit on the ball the last 50 seconds, take no chances, and go to the clubhouse leading Oklahoma by a score of 14 to 7. Hot, tough day for both sides. We'll be back uh, after this word about an upcoming show on ABC, the local station break, and more right after this. As we come back to live action at Owen Field, Norman, Oklahoma, the kickoff by Ohio State is fumbled around, finally picked up by Earl Johnson to be the split end. And the offensive front will remain the same that started the game. So from the 19, Oklahoma goes to work. Bradley gives to Tillman, bangs into one of his own people, then bounces back the other way. Buster Rhymes now comes wide to the bottom of the picture, and they send Sewell in motion the other way. Hand the ball off to the fullback, Tillman, and the Buckeyes eat him up. They get all the pressure they can on the youngster. Snap is low, pressure's on, kick away, not a good kick. It takes an Oklahoma bounce, however. And it's going to wind up all right. But even so, with the bounce, it's going to be Ohio State holding the football up around the 44-yard line, leading by a score of 14 to 7. 
Yep, Kelvin Lindsay, the tailback, and a good, sizable gain of about eight yards. Tom Zach will throw on second and short, flips it out, pass complete to Barry Walker. Come right out here in the second half in their first possession and start moving the ball. Tom Zach gives the ball away to Keith Byers. Byers. Tom Zach on second down and nine gets his pass away intended for Byers to play catch. Here they come with the blitz. Third and nine. A little pass is chopped off to Lindsay. Gets some blocking on the corner. Breaks it big for a first down. Well, it blew up in their face. Using three people at that spot today. Tom Zach still has it. Penalty flag is thrown. Pass is incomplete. And day 75,008 they did not get the record they anticipated a record crowd today but the heat I'm sure had some bearing on that Tom Zach back to throw it on first down and 20 scrambling gets his pass away in the middle to John Frank Frank is caught and pulled down by Jim Rockford at 5-9 it's second down and seven for Ohio State little flip out there the pass is caught and completed inside the 10 down to the five Vaughn Broadnax the big pullback up the team up with Frank in a double tight end alignment Oklahoma stopped them on the one remember they go at him a little straighter this time and uh, Lindsay the tailback off the right side of the formation of tight end Roman Bates is in there at tailback give it to the fullback Broadnax and the Sooners jump on him and he sends uh, Jemison in motion they're going to run it Touchdown for Roman Bates. <laughs> Zach's hold. And it's perfect. So with eight minutes and 30 seconds to play in the third quarter, the Ohio State Buckeyes now move out to a 21 to seven lead over Oklahoma. 40-yard pass play to Buster Rhymes and a 37-yard sprint by Spencer Tillman. Spangler's kickoff is way back and beyond the end zone. Hey, today, they've averaged just less than three. And Earl Johnson running at tailback. Sewell in motion. Bradley to put it up. I don't know who he's going to throw it to. He has nobody. Everybody's covered. Now it's foot speed to the outside and a first down for the Sooners and it's first down at the 33 and it's Earl Johnson hands it to Tillman first down Oklahoma at their 44 Bradley stands up a little quick pitch and trying to set up a screen over there for Buster Rhymes Rhymes now has caught three for 54 yards on second and eight goes to the air with it and the intended receiver had fallen down. Third and eight. Bradley back. Caught from behind at the 45. Give credit to that defense and the offense of Ohio State keeping the football. No pressure on Ataya. Hangs it up into the wind. The ball is downfield where a fair catch is called. Have the football first down at their 22. Leading 21 to 7. That's the tailback. And the offensive line. Outside. That's Roman Bates. Thrown out of bounds. First down. Ball is on the 34. And off goes to Bates again. And at its second down and six as Lindsay checks back in. Right side jump. Dead ball. On the ground. Ball start. Offense. Second down, 11. Ball back on the 33, and Tom Zach drops to throw. He had Lindsay standing out here at hard to see. Third down and 11. Tom Zach now gets some pressure, gets his pass off, and it is incomplete. Left puts it out of there, and it's a dandy. Buster Rhymes lopes under it, turns back at the 10, looks for a hole, gets a little bit of help, goes to the sidelines, and brings it on a nice return back out to about the 38. In the third quarter, and it's the same alignment, except Shepard is in there at the wingback spot and in motion. And here's 
Oklahoma's scampering, scooting quarterback, Danny Bradley. And with Florida State losing today to Tulane. Penn State also lost to Iowa. Bradley's pass is in the air. And it is caught by Shepard. So he finally hooks up. It's unusual to see an Oklahoma team forced into this kind of passing circumstance. And this early in the ball game. Yes, sir. Down the line on the option. Out it goes to Johnson. And Johnson is belted out of bounds at Alabama, a winner by 40. Parity, right? Second down and seven. Oh, my goodness. Oh, would you believe that? There were two Ohio State defenders there. The from the 27, Johnson again bounces off one and gets inside the 25. Ohio State sitting on a 14-point lead, second down and seven for Oklahoma. Hand off to Spencer Tillman, the fullback out of the whistle. They go outside with it and it doesn't work. They try to give it to Johnson. Fourth and five. Bradley passes away. He's got a man. Shepard touchdown. David Culver for the extra point. It's very important, and it's good. It's a poor kick. It'll be Ohio State's ball first down at the 27. And he's got it. And he runs in the middle for about seven yards. The backs are rolling the ball much better today. Lindsay trying for his first down, and he's close to it. Clock runs out. Third quarter is over. We'll be back after this commercial message and a word from our local station. Ohio State leading 21 to 14, and third down, the ball at their 37 on Oklahoma, so Oklahoma did not capitalize on the interception. On first down, Lindsey, the tailback. Lindsey with 12 carries and 58 yards of the ball game. They use three tailbacks today. They give this time to Broadmax, the fullback. And the big fellow is up to the 45. <laughs> Lindsey, he's close. 48 yard line of Ohio State. Tom Zach looks around. He's got Byers at uh, the tailback spot. And Mike turns around and gives it to him. And there's a heck of a collision right at the 50-yard line. Michigan tied at the moment. And Florida State lost. Here's Tomzak. Back to throw and gets a little heat. His pass is incomplete. So finishes. Could be. Third down and eight. Over the middle. Wide open. Byers. First down. Buckeyes. Big play as he goes to the 30. Just short of the 30. First down for the Buckeyes. 12 minutes to play, and Tom Zach gives the ball to Kelvin Lindsey. Second down and eight. Tom Zach again wants to throw, runs away from the containment, and hits his man perfectly. Penalty flag, face mask call, Keith Byers at the 18, first down for Ohio State. Oklahoma's 18, and that's Jimison in motion. Tom Zach hands it off to Kelvin Lindsey, bounces off tackle, bounces back inside. First and goal from the eight. That's Myers pounding up the middle. And of course, Jimmy Johnson is an old Arkansas graduate. We, we think he's a good one, too. Comes out, forced back inside. Oklahoma held Ohio State the first half on the one. Comes out, wants to put it up. He gets it away, it's high, and it is incomplete. Caught out of bounds. It brings up the fourth down play, and Rich Spangler is in now for a field goal try of 22 yards from the right side. A lot of leg, and it's good. So Spangler gets a three big points for Ohio State. Nine minutes and 15 seconds to play in a ball game, and the Buckeyes are leading by 10. Whether he'll keep it low or whether he'll hit it high and, and as far as he can. He kicks it just as hard as he can. 
That's Buster Rhymes back at the goal line. They mess around with it back there. And now he's got to put it down. <laughs> First down for the Sooners. They've got to go from the 20. And Bradley is back. Looking for somebody to throw to. Can't find anybody. Pulls it down and he runs for five. Double wide bottom of the picture. Second down five. Oklahoma. Bradley going down the line on an option. They force him back. He's still scrambling. Pitches it out. Nothing left for Johnson to do except get knocked out of bounds. Third, four and a half. Bradley back to throw. Has some time. Gets it away. Good to Shepard. Shepard gets one block. He may go, but Garcia Lane gets away. Buster Rhymes had a chance to level Lane. Shepard has caught three passes now for 85 yards. For a young quarterback starting his first games this year. Second down and 10. Passed quickly to the sidelines. Pass good to Rhymes. Good for a first down at the Ohio State 26. Bradley's hit five in a row now. And gaining confidence, Keith. They go to Spencer Tillman, and he gets turned upside down. Earl Johnson, number 97 for Ohio State. And here's the blitz, Keith. Passes away. Rhymes had it. Bradley delivered it exactly where he wanted to put it, but 23-yard line of Ohio State. Passes away, passes deflected, knocked down by number 17, Clark Backus, and they lead by 10 points. Now, Mr. Mike Tomczak. Hands the ball off, and it is Byers, the tailback. They wrapped him, and he's back in there, and give him four, call a second down and six. Rob Max, the fullback. It is third down in about five. Comes up. Goes for John Frank. And Big John has it out of bounds. There are the numbers for Mike Thompson. He's on the verge of being one of the great quarterbacks in this country in college football. Penalty flag down as Lindsay. That's illegal use of hand. Enough said. First down, 15. nothing for Byers. They were coming. It is second down and 18 for Ohio State. Three minutes to play in the ball game. Well, they take it back. Same general direction. They run it back up across the 40 with, with 2.56 to play in the game and Ohio State leading Oklahoma by 10 points. And they bootleg it out. Tom Zach. And they've got him up around the 45. He's got to kick into the wind here. Kick. It takes a good bounce, and it does not. Shepard had no chance, except for the one on the goal line. Yeah. That ball came loose on the snap. Arizona has blown Washington State apart. 38 to 6 now in the fourth quarter. Bradley back to throw. Passes away to the sidelines. Rhymes has it. I think Buster thought he had the uh, yardage marker, but he was knocked back, and that's, that's what it is. They'll tack on five. Michigan is winning at Washington. Ohio State winning in Norman. Wisconsin won today. Michigan State beat Notre Dame. Big Ten might be a lot of fun. That pass is incomplete. Intended for Derek Shepard. The second down and ten. Johnson the tailback. Bradley back to throw it. Minute and a half to play. Penalty flags are down. I think you've got a holding call coming up against Oklahoma. Pass is thrown downfield. The pass is complete downfield to Darren Berryhill. Five yards and... I mean, excuse me, illegal use of the hands would be five yards. And yeah, that's the one they're going to take, I'm sure. Five yards deep, safety is very deep. Right now, no pressure. The pass is thrown to the sidelines, and the pass is incomplete. Comes for 31 yards. It's fourth down and 14. Down the sidelines, intended for Earl Johnson, and thrown out of bounds. Today. Ohio State's liable to jump right up in around second place. They very well could. Uh, along the Olin Tangi can get ready to have a little victory party tonight because their football team has played a heck of a game. Our unit manager, Dennis Zabo, assistant to the producer, John McGinnis, our statistician, Dave Burnson, and our spotter, Todd Barry. And the clock is on its way, running off the seconds, as Ohio State is very impressive. 
in beating Oklahoma in today's ball game by a score of 24 to 14. It's over. It's in the books. A two game series. These two teams have split. Oklahoma winning at Columbus in 1977, Ohio State winning in Norman in 1983.